describing where to someone who's never met her is hard. Uh, she's petite and yet has a personality so large that when she walks into a room, everybody kind of looks. And, you know, she just commands the room. You know, some people, they're great philanthropists, but they have other passions. Maybe they like to race cars or they're great golfers or something like this. Well, Margaret's a philanthropist, but her passion is philanthropy. This is not just something she does here or there. This is full time. She's totally devoted to it. Margaret is the face of cultural life in Houston. The passion of her life has been making art available to as many people as want to experience it. And she's used all of her time, all of her resources to help build all of these organizations in this city. She's passionate about music. She's passionate about the arts. She's passionate about education. And her family has been very, very strongly supportive of the medical mission of Baylor College of Medicine. And we reached a milestone uh, about a year and a half ago where the foundation actually, over the years, had donated over $100 million to the Baylor College of Medicine. Now just think about that, $100 million. Well, what did that yield? Well, two very important buildings, the largest department that we have, the Department of Medicine, and then five or six of the major initiatives that have kept us cutting edge. And every time I have gone to that foundation and said, this is really important, this is gonna make the difference, move the needle for our institution, they've stepped up and supported us. I, I'm not sure we would be where we are without them, honestly. Margaret has unquestionably transformed Houston Grand Opera. Her decade after decade after decade of deep commitment to the company, because she sees the importance of opera as an educational tool in this city. I think there's no question that without Margaret, Houston Grand Opera would not be in the top tier of opera companies as it is now. Margaret's goal is always, how do you make the community better? You know, whether it's the opera or the theater or educational programs or healthcare, how do you make the city of Houston a better place to live?